good afternoon. I am Camellia Sinensis, and some of you know me as the Tea Lady in service of Lord Bobbins. I have accompanied him on many of his voyages, but you all know as Tesla Khan. Now, last year, we had a wonderful innovation in the tea room. These beautiful honey dippers, which I must confess I'm rather silly and call them honey swoopers because you use them to swoop in the honey and then drizzle it daintily into your tea. There were some issues with how to appropriately use a honey swooper and that is what we are going to address this afternoon. For a nice cup of tea. so carefully. And allow the honey to drip very carefully, very slowly into the cup. This takes time. But so does a good cup of tea. Yeah. Let's see. Neatly and sweetly back into the jar. Professor Modulus has agreed to um, help, yes, help, be re-educated in the use of how to take tea appropriately. Thank you so much, my dear. Shall I pour you a cup? Why, thank you. <laughs> now. now, these are quite remarkable devices, and I see that the comb at the end here is no, 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 no. This end with the ridges, good professor, goes into the honey. One lifts the lid off the jar of honey. Now this will be much easier for you. This end is nice and brightly colored and you swoop ever so delicately to acquire your honey in the little spirals. Interesting. As we can see, the honey dipper contains a the perfect size dollop of honey to dip directly into your tea. No! It no. does not get dipped in the tea. Hold it like so, spin it a little bit. Yes. That would take forever. Yes, hold it straight up and down, let it go. Yes, it takes time. Instant gratification does not happen in the tea room. As in all good things, one must wait for sweetness to fall into your tea. There you are. It may be quicker if it were helped manually. No! Are you no. suggesting you swipe it with your finger? Yes. No, no. And the residue of honey that is on this, which is not dripping, I should remove, correct, before putting it into the honey jar. Ah! No, sir, you do not suck on the honey swooper. The honey swooper goes either in the honey or in the air over the tea. Those are the two places that the honey swooper should go. This is all so complicated. I shall put the honey swooper down on the table and come back to it later. No! Not on the table. That is not in the honey. It goes in the honey. No, no. There you are. Good man. Good man. Now the lid goes back on top to keep everything in place. There. That's better. I love my American friends. Oh, good, good. Now, he did an appropriate maneuver, which was dunking it directly back in the jar, rather than setting it in all of its sticky glory 
on the tablecloth. Now, other things one should not do with the honey swooper. Do not lick it. No! Do not dunk it in your tea and then use it back in the honey jar because some people cannot stand Earl Grey. And while I think Earl Grey infused honey would be delightful, other people would be rather put out. Absolutely no dueling with honey swoopers in my tea room. Not in my tea room. Yes. Thank you so much. up any confusion on how to use the honey swooper. If you have questions, please do ask any of my helpful staff and we would be delighted to enlighten you. Thank you. resisting the urge. <laughs> Good man. <laughs>